Hello, Scorpios. This is you versus them for the 7th through the 13th. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, you guys, so it will not resonate for everyone. If you guys are interested in a personal, that information is below the video, okay? Please don't forget to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Scorpios. Oh, yeah. A lot of you are going into this cycle um, starting a new venture, working with someone working with several people quite possibly but there is something that you have accomplished that you feel very proud of um and this is like just the beginning here and you you see like you see real potential in what it is that you are involving yourself in with the three of pentacles could be a new job okay let's see where the other person is There, there's someone in the other person's energy. This person is very, um, this is a very loving person. This is somebody that, um, that, that gives of themselves, you know, unselfishly, I feel here. But there, there's somebody else in their energy that they are on guard about um somebody that's i feel like it's aggressive somebody that is um either younger than them or less mature than they are um but i feel like this you know the person they know this individual i don't know if they're actually in contact with this individual but i feel like you know they're on guard because intuitively they they know that this person um is out there they may be speaking with this person and just trying to address the situation calmly calm this person down um this may be a teacher this may be a counselor that you're dealing with um somebody i feel like that is they're almost like a mediator they um they help people i feel like this is maybe like a healer in some sense okay but there is an air sign individual that is um in their energy that i feel like they're trying to like guard themselves from but they're guarding themselves like shielding themselves with loving compassion you know it's like i'm not gonna go there with you I'm not going to get aggressive with you. I'm not going to, you know, I got my cup out because I'm going to come back, combat that with love. Um, you know, let's see what you guys want. Oh, okay. Hmm. There's something I feel like you are, you know, you're trying to get over. You're trying, you're struggling to get over this feeling. I feel like, you know, there's something that hurt you before in the past. And I, I kind of get the impression that maybe you have gotten, you know, kind of complacent here in this space. Like, you know, yeah, you, you're over, you're over this hurt disappointment that you felt but you're still lying down here you're still really not being that active you're still not you know functioning um where you would want to be i feel and i i think this is like bothering you because you really do want to you really do want to be, you know, an active participant in your life. I feel like this is burdening you, though. Like, like maybe you don't have any energy. Maybe you go back and forth between, you know, bouts of depression and then being very active, ready to, like, take on the day. Um, I feel like this is a struggle for you here. And I feel like you just want to, to get out of this energy where you're not feeling... Um, 
where you're not feeling your best here. Feeling lethargic is what I'm getting. It's like you, you want to get out of that feeling of, you know, lethargy. Okay. Let's see what the other person wants. And, you know, this, this, this three of swords may be because of whatever is going on here with this other person. You know, maybe you were hurt, disappointed by something that happened between you and them um, previously. Let's see. Here we go again with this air sign. I get the feeling that the person that you're thinking about, excuse me, was involved with an air sign individual, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And, and they possibly have that in their chart as well. But I feel like this person is trying to move past. They want to move past this individual, this person. Either they want to move past them or they want to go to them and they move on together. So... It's a possibility that the person that you're involved with also is trying to make amends or not involved with, I'm sorry. The person that you're thinking about is also trying to make amends with someone else, an air sign. Okay. Let's see what you guys need. There is, there's a need for you to gain balance in your life. There's a need for you to be sure of yourself. Do not doubt yourself here. Turn around and face this sword of truth because you know what the truth is. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself, okay? And here we have in the Four of Swords, you see that sword is down there. Your hand is by it. You see the truth. Okay? You know what that truth is for you. Okay? And I'm trying to see like... I, there is a there is you know a strong need for you to balance out your energy. I think you kind of go back and forth. Um, there may be some issue with um, clinical depression here, and I don't know if it's been diagnosed or not. But I I just feel that over here. I feel like there is something going on between you and the other individual currently for a lot of you. You're actually speaking with this person, but this person is focused on something else. Um, and I feel like you're kind of beating yourself up here because there's not a lot you feel like you can do about this. Maybe you are the cause or you feel like you're the cause of this person's grief that they're moving away from here in the Six of Swords. But there's something um, that you're struggling with here that you're failing to see. Okay. Let's see what the other person needs. This is an Aries card. This is a Sag card here. This is also a Sagittarius card. So maybe you guys have, um, you know, you're on the cusp of Scorpio Sagittarius. 
but I feel like this is prompting this person to not see this is what they want to do some of them want to you know move forward with this king of swords with this air energy some of them want to like for him to get out the way so they can move on but what they're actually needing to do i feel is realize because they're waiting on their ships to come in they're waiting on something um something good to happen for them here and i feel like this is you with these wands here trying to communicate just how much you care for them and they need to turn around i feel and see that it's like they, they they're missing something as well they need to see that what they're looking for is right in front of them and i feel like that's a lot of your burden that's a lot of why you take your hands off of the situation and you know you just go into your four swords mode and you just like you know it is what it is kind of thing and so you're kind of unsure about how they feel about you as well i feel it's like you don't know whether to like stay here in your corner or to go to them it's like you're kind of thrown off here and that's because there's somebody else in this person's energy if you're communi communicating with them okay let's see if someone else is involved here I feel like this Queen of Swords is this Queen of Cups here is what I'm feeling because I feel like this is like you know an Aquarius energy like you know this person probably has some air in their chart as well and I feel like this is somebody that you know she is loving or he is loving but they also are very vocal very mysterious to you they probably have not revealed a lot to you you feel like they're very knowledgeable um, but there's something very mysterious about this person and you are drawn to them you're drawn to them you just can't quite put your finger on how they're feeling about you like you're you're unsure here okay let's see if somebody's involved for the other person um i don't feel like like i said for for them it's like they are shielding themselves here they're shielding themselves um because i feel that at some point this person probably was left by this other individual this is taurus energy um and so now they refuse they re they're refusing to allow this person in because they feel like this person was not there for them when they really needed them but you know they're still even though somebody does you wrong it, you don't forget them but so they're struggling here to like guard themselves from this individual here and we see that there's a guard here with this cup it's like you know got your hand out got the cup out like i'm not going to you know engage with you in any um conflict or anything but you know i will move past you i'm gonna get around you i'm going to move on you're not stopping me here okay regardless of what you say you know you're not stopping me and that's where they are i don't feel like anybody is involved for them i just feel like they're struggling with moving on okay they're guarding themselves and i feel like in guarding themselves from from this individual it's like they they are also i feel like unintentionally guarding themselves with you here okay that's why we have the queen of swords and the high priestess this this person is on guard they're 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 not wanting to reveal everything because they've been hurt before okay so let's see if this is um possible let's see if it's likely that you guys will um come together hmm 
Hmm. You have two major icon of the death, which is a natural ending. It's also change, transformation. And then we have the moon, hidden feelings, um, the mysterious. Okay. So I feel like, excuse me, there is something that has to change here. But also this is a Scorpio card. And so I feel like Scorpios, this is more so saying that maybe you guys need to tell this person exactly how you feel. Because there is a level of mystery surrounding you too. I feel like you're hiding a lot of your feelings from this person. Okay? So there's a lot of things that um, both of you do not know about each other. And so there needs to be a conversation, an open and honest conversation communication here all right so let's go ahead and pull uh, an angel um, romance angels card for you guys okay yeah getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens there is an open and honest communication that needs to be had between the two of you okay so, my Scorpio friends, that's what I have for you guys for the 7th through the 13th. And um, I'll speak with you soon. Bye now.